Ford C-Max Energy Dead, C-Max Hybrid soon to join it. Ford wants no more of the C-Max Hybrid and C-Max Energy Plug-in Hybrid, because consumers didn't buy enough of them. Ford introduced the compact hatchback twins in late 2012 as 2013 models, targeting the Toyota Prius with the compact, Euro-styled MPV. But years of declining sales proved the C-Maxes weren't the right models to entice hybrid buyers. Ford confirmed to Green Car reports that the C-Max Synergy has already ceased production, with the C-Max Hybrid to follow in mid-2018. When Ford decided to bring the C-Max to the US, the New York Times held the European gas and diesel-powered family runabout as proof that American car companies can build handsome, economical and functional family vehicles. The alternatively powered C-Max Hybrid we got kept the handsome and functional fits but didn't prove as economical as promised. The shortcoming triggered a public beating during the C-Max's first year on sale. The row focused on the hatchback's EPA combined fuel economy rating of 47 miles per gallon. One month after hitting dealer lots, an automotive news reporter who bought a C-Max Hybrid wrote a piece called, So where's the 47 miles per hour on my C-Max? When owners began filling forms with the same question, and contacting attorneys for help getting answers and remuneration, Ford made some complicated explanations and revised the numbers. The automaker lowered the EPA rating for the C-Max Hybrid twice, and the C-Max Synergy once. The post-recession return to SUVs and crossovers, combined with Americans' traditional aversion to hatchbacks, likely contributed to the C-Max's decline. The Ford Fusion Hybrid and Fusion Hybrid Energy, which use the same powertrains as the C-Maxes, have outsold the trunkless models this year. The Blue Oval has a new electrified compact offering that will encompass an entire vehicle lineup, perhaps called Model E and arriving in 2019 or 2020.